All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, we're going to be playing some more Alone in the Dark. Uh, we started yesterday on PC, but today we're going to be playing on GeForce Now. We're going to be playing in the cloud on a cloud PC, and it'll be streaming to my computer at 4K 120 FPS on the ultimate plan. Because we linked, because GeForce Now uses your Steam, Epic, Ubisoft accounts, it also imports your save from those accounts as well. So we'll be able to continue where we left off yesterday just by logging in to GeForce Now and then streaming over the web. So it's great if you want to play on your PC and then finish playing on your computer or whatever you want to do. Or you can, uh, sorry, finish on like a, a your stream it to your television or stream it to any device that like has it available. So we're going to go ahead and log into the game. Yeah, what's great about GeForce Now, you can play on your phone, you can play on a lot of TVs. So it connects to uh, your, your, it connects and also uses your, um, uses your uh, games and save files from those other platforms. Let's see, uh, video, I'm gonna up the, I think we up the, the field of view. Yeah, I think we were up at 75. There, it feels much better. So again, work 10 UR saved from yesterday. We just imported it right into the cloud um, on GeForce Now. Uh, GeForce also has a day pass now, so if you want to like try out the service for just a single day, you can do that now. Uh, they have it for premium and ultimate. If you just want to give it a whirl, so check it out. The link below the channel or another GFN commanded chat. All right, let's go ahead and it's the star constellation from one of Jeremy's books. But I got a feeling this is it. This is where the contract is hidden. But how do I get to it? I think yesterday we found out there was a, what should we call it over here? A lever. So we're gonna pull this. Sounds definitely on the loud side. Oh. Oh god, uh, uh. Got him. Yeah, it sounds definitely a little on the louder side there. So we need to find a way to move those beams over, I think. Go that way. Let me try over here. Oh, uh, we just finished doing uh, Dragon Summer Two for the night. We are gonna we're playing um, this game on GeForce Now for our sponsored segment for the tonight. Um, oh, this is where we got stuck yesterday. That beam right there. Remember, <laughs> our character got stuck in there. There is no map here. This guy is uh, David Harbour, the guy that plays the cop in um, Stranger Things. Let's try going this way. Looks blocked. <laughs> Nothing in there. That looks blocked as well. Can I pull this anymore? Nope. Nothing in there. What is in here? Hmm. 
That's why I got stuck. There was a place to click. Where our lens goes, gotta There's find that. Missing. The horizon. Lens crafted with a T fleeing hieroglyph. Let's put this here. And then maybe raise me up. This one looks operational. What's in here? Very Prince of Persia style puzzle. All right, what is down this way? Beams all over the place. There must be pla places to use it. Oh, oh. Ancient temples have bullets, right? No, apparently. A lens definitely goes there. Set this um, DLS S to balanced mode. Also, I don't know if we need double um, double V sync. That helps a little bit. Got to find where that goes. Okay, go down here. <sighs> Salvo, thank you for that resub. It looks like a lens right there. Or not. What's that tablet? Children of the Dark Sun. Unspeakable cult. So far, nothing's been inside these little, little chests. Ooh, this one could be bent. Wait, what? That burns those? Something. Yeah, Spider Man kind of has it like an Indiana Jones vibe to this game. Let's see what open over this way first. Those bats make such a weird hissing sound. Kind of want to save my bullets if I can. <laughs> Am I 
not be able to. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to. We have, we only have nine bullets left. I still need a lens for that. Where the hell did they go? I tried to use the beam, but they kept moving away from it too quickly. So I don't, you might be able to kill them with the beam, but it was really, really hard to be able to target them with it. Oh, this is this room. This room again. Uh, go back around, maybe the other way. Let's see what we can find over here. Let's let's see if we go straight across here and then try to go around, maybe. I bypass this and go down to the other side. Maybe that'll be okay. Yeah, it opened up the door right here. So maybe the next lens will be in there. Okay, I definitely open that up. Okay, we have a What does this do? Uh, nope, not that way. What about there? Oh, it's inside the chest. Okay. Yep, there's the lens. What a weird little puzzle. Now we can go back and um, open that one door. If we open this. Oh. That, did I just did I hear that echo? Echo, echo, echo. Put the lens here and see what's up there. Huh. Let's see, um, video. Use the star. Or, or not. Maybe that goes up there on that one? Hmm. Yep. It worked. That, that definitely killed them. Very loudly. A new hand touches the beacon. Got him. <laughs> no bullet wasting today. Okay, looks like if we go up here and grab this other lens, we 
can use it on the other side there. Let's go ahead and grab the lens. Or, or not. Confused. Is that supposed to do something? Right here, like burned up. I mean, I don't know what's going on. Now, well, let's see. Okay, I don't know. to turn this somewhere else maybe did that open something over here I heard something open. I don't know where it was, though. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're missing um, a lens to shine. There's, we need a lens for right there, but I don't know where the last lens is. There could be a door on the bottom floor that maybe opened I'll double check just to make sure that requires a lens that I don't have Uh, Kevin would use Lost. Uh, Kevin used GeForce Now all the time when he was playing Lost Ark, and he really liked it playing on his phone with uh, that game from uh, GeForce Now. The I need a lens. Is there a lens I can grab now? Maybe. Oh god, this is it. Okay, oops. Oh my god. Okay. Woo! 
All right, so it must be somewhere around here. Now I'm out of. I'm getting very low on bullets. I don't like this. Oh, a nice weapon, melee weapon. Got to turn that on somehow. Looks like through here. What's that? Is this? Hold on, this guy. Oh, thank you, Aphrodite Mage. That must shine somewhere down this way. Yep, there it is. And then we use this. And that must be our last lens we need. You gonna drink? All right, let's go take a look-see. Um, over this way. If only it was the other side and not over here, but that's all right. We'll go around there. I mean, it's probably one more round of bats. Uh, thank you, Nucleotide. Appreciate that. Mm. Okay, use the lens. And then we go up there and find out what secrets this holds. Stutters once more. I can't tell if that's the game or the connection. Let's leave it on performance, though. Window full screen graphics. Discover the Shadow Man secret. Something he doesn't want anyone to know.
stop rumbling all of a sudden. Okay, what's in there? Acknowledge psychological trauma, break through barriers of self-deceit, tempermatic behavior. These are the dark man's terms. The contract. Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did not have that on my bingo card. <laughs> hey. Hey, detective. <sighs> what are you doing? Oh, I found something. Great. Was it alcohol? God, no. I just <laughs> really knocked out of me. I think I know how to break the contract with the Dark Man. What exactly does that mean? Everything going back to normal. Uh, all right. Uh, I found some more information on Dorsetto and the patients. There are some seriously strange things going on here. I'm pretty sure two of the patients are dead and maybe even the clerk. Oh, yeah. I kind of just gave up on worrying about that. Well, just keep your eyes open, I suppose. What were you doing again? Jeremy made a pact with the Dark Man to keep all the madness locked inside Dorsetto. All right. I'm gonna break it. I just have to... Where is it? Where's the talisman? It's around your neck. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. I worry, Detective. Don't. I'm fine. I worry that you're not much help on this case. But at least you're a good distraction. Trust me. You're getting your money's worth. At this rate... I'm an absolute bargain. That's right, chat. You pointed her. He must first acknowledge psychological trauma in order to proceed. The lying must stop so we can break through the barriers of self deceit. Finally, Temper manic behavior. Medicine has failed me. Nothing can be done to dispel the hardwood curse. Only the sacrificial dagger may release the despair from Jacob's eye. Yet, doing so would be the doom of Dasetto. Let this curse of mine be a weapon for once. I accept your demands. Oh, crawling chaos. Build your prison around this godforsaken hospital. When evil has been starved, I will stay buried forever. Uh, there are two campaigns. Uh, you play as both this guy, David Harbour, the detective, and also um, that actress. I forget her name. Uh, but you, so you, if you play as her, you'll hear her a lot and hear her side of the story. You're supposed to play through both campaigns to really like, uh, just, just get it, get what's going on. Ambience. Uh, Miss Comer, she's apparently a famous British act actress. Jody Comer, there you go. I need the key. Get locked. I didn't recognize her yesterday. <laughs> Got to be around here somewhere. He wouldn't leave this house. I don't know what to think anymore. You run into that detective Bella. Who is he? Can he be trusted? I think he wanted a good guy. Well, you know, not good. Will he be all right with her coming? Praise the mother. He don't need to know about all that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Just calm down. It ain't time yet. God, it hurts. As far as I can tell, Detective Combi seems to be solving problems, not causing them. Just be ready in case he starts anything. Fall had those days. Of those days where it's like, uh oh, what's going on? Yeah, this is David Harbour, the actor. He, he did the motion capture and the uh, voiceover for the game. Actually, I don't know about motion capture, but definitely, definitely the voiceover. It's his voice. Getting a little scary around here. Actually, it looks like they're much better with DLSS off on the um, in the cloud. Slightly. Okay. Actually, this temp, this place is not the same. It's all corrupted by the some of the corruption stuff. that that's blocked that's great yeah he isn't David Hopper in this from Stranger Things he is a detective but it's a not David Hopper it's the same character broken spectacles that's all now Think of the water. Okay, let's uh I hope we can find some bullets because we are very low. We must have faith that Jeremy's pact with the dark man is a bluff. If we are lucky, our visitors will find him and prove it's all nonsense before night falls. What is true is our attempt to call on her. Too many things have happened for this evening to be in vain. Think of Jack and Cassandra, even Perosi, whose circumstances I can't understand. Grace is our goat without horns. She knows it and will play the role. You must talk to your brother, Batiste. I worry that he will fail us. Mrs. Thompson. I don't know who... What they're talking about. Everyone in a horror game always has the weirdest conversations. You're just like, what are you talking about? What's going on? Um, looks like all that's blocked. Let's try going upstairs. I don't want to run into the orderlies right now. I'm not sure I can trust them. Ooh. Do not disturb sign. I think Dr. Gray might be in there. Perfect time to snoop around his office, though. Oops. Nope. Is there a way to peek through the the keyhole? No. All right, well. I didn't mean to swing the pickaxe, that was a mistake. Lunacy in the Astarte Artist Colony. A monograph by Yael Klein. In early 1909, the old Derseto plantation outside of New Orleans was turned into an artist's colony. Three famous European artists rented the house and the surrounding land from the owner, the Ledoux family. 
The colony was chiefly run by Sebastian Cortez, who was playfully dubbed the captain by his collaborators, William Argus and Heinrich Kassel. The colony existed for six years, until one day all twelve members disappeared without a trace. It is widely believed that their disappearance is connected to the disastrous hurricane that passed through on September 29, 1915, but nothing truly supports this claim. What is known is their frequent participation in New Orleans nightlife, their love for hosting parties, and their elaborate contributions to the Mardi Gras parades as the Pirates of Ponchartrain. Accounts of their lifestyle can be found in almost every gossip column. It can effectively be summed up as carefree and bohemian. In late June 1909, the name Astarte first appeared in the newspapers. Cortez said the name came to him as he was painting. There is never any claim to knowing about the ancient Phoenician fertility goddess with the same name before this time. His fellow colonist Heinrich Kassel did know, because he later produced sculptures that show clear references to ancient idols of the goddess. It's impossible to know for sure how this name suddenly made an appearance, but it is interesting because of their Seto's history. I love that they voice act everything here. Even the name Derseto is the Greek name of a Syrian fertility goddess. In the case of naming the plantation, Derseto was certainly not an accident. We know that Elia Pickford intended to build a temple for his cult, for he had distributed pamphlets two years prior to the purchase of the land, advertising his intentions. The voice by real people, real actors. His followers were estimated to be almost a hundred men and women mostly sailors, maroons, and Cajuns, when the plantation was built. To outsiders, Dorsetto registered as an ordinary slave plantation, which enabled Pickford and his flock to remain hidden for decades. The official story is that the cult lasted until 1862, when the Union Army came and burned down the plantation and scattered all who lived there. Following the Civil War, new people started to congregate in the ruins of Dorsetto to invent a new fertility goddess, the Shub Nigrath. As much as Dorsetto is a particular name to have heard of, it's not entirely uncommon among the learned. Astarte is equally known and could have been subconsciously chosen by well-read artists. Shub Nigrath is, on the other hand, very uncommon almost impossible that anyone in Louisiana would have heard that name. The name is referenced only in rare books like Udnausprechlichen Kulten and the Necronomicon, and is believed to be a bastardization of Arabic words meaning pertaining to the dark young. The few paragraphs printed on the goddess are so upsetting that no one in their right mind would want to build a religion resting on such qualities. The Shub Nigarath cult was hard to get rid of, but it is believed that despite the police jailing and killing several cultists over the years, the main culprit in the cult's demise is the cult itself, which seems to line up with every instance of cult activity on Darceto's grounds. When Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army arrived, he described the people at Darceto as malnourished and maniacal. As much as the army tried to save them, they fought back with fervor, as if nothing was going to stop them from slowly destroying themselves. While the disappearance of the Astarte Artis colony remains a mystery, the recurring motif seems to suggest that their fate involved lunacy and a hunger for self-sacrifice to that fertility goddess with a thousand names. Very interesting lore. Let's go through here. A fertility goddess that's evil. Opera playbill. Why do I hear a child? Is it through there? Hmm. Definitely locked. The girl you brought. 
is that? Is the tree talking to me? A good rule of thumb chat is if a tree gives you commands, maybe don't do them. Mrs. Thompson, I understand the last week has been busy. Under these circumstances, I find it important to remind you that Ursetto's concerns are not a public matter, nor is it something that should upset you. Please continue your excellent work, and don't spend a thought on the death of Perosi, or, more importantly, the suicide of Cassandra Beauregard. They should mean nothing to you or the staff. I rely on your loyalty, and trust that your close kinship with the Tabois siblings will keep Dersetto's secrets hidden. Dr. Gray. Yeah, if a tree's talking to you, it's probably not a good thing. You may have lost your mind, and you may not be knowing what you're doing. You might be alone in the dark. TM. Bullets. Another locked door. It must be up here. Also locked. I still don't have the puzzle to this room over here. There must be a spare key to Dr. Gray's office in here somewhere. Open up the safe. I don't have the combination for this. Or maybe Jeremy did. Wait, Jeremy? Is it in his... Dr. Gray... The orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients. Orderlies, housekeeper, patients. How many orderlies? I need the key. Uh, difficulty of DD1, uh, DD2 is about the same as DD1. It's not, it's not super hard, at least not in the beginning. I wasn't really having much trouble. Hmm. Edward Carnaby. Lasting debt. Job, the loony bin. How many patients are there? All right, time to get Jeremy out of that contract so we can get the hell out of here. Something tells me I'm gonna have to put my talisman to use. 
Okay, there's two orderlies, six patients maybe? Wait, so there's one, two, three, four, five, five patients. Six, seven. Seven patients. Seven patients. Seven, uh, two, one, seven, maybe. than I thought. <laughs> Talisman, Miss Jackson, the Voodoo Priestess. So I taught Dr. Gravy, a few of my words, caught treating me. All these occupations are all deranged. They call upon evil to enter this world. I'll be lost. Must find the clerk, Mr. Waits. Must be maybe Beauregard. Contract. There's always three numbers. There's always three numbers. Wait, so one, two, so four, might be four orderlies. Four, one, seven. Smart. It's, this one's been okay. It's not been amazing, but it's been decent. It's like it's all right. There was a book full of all the patients and stuff, but I can't find it anymore. The two orderlies still hadn't found Jeremy. Conby figured this was good news. Emily had reminded him about some strange deaths at the Seto, and Combe wasn't sure who he Combe never thought. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure as to the clue there. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like I can't figure out Maybe the code's in Jeremy's room. Somewhere. There must be something here. What are, oh, there's a page here. Detective Calm. I'm terribly sorry that my niece has pulled you into this mess. Please, with all my blessings, take her away from this cursed place. I have destroyed that eater of worlds and locked it away in the attic and retreated to a place of hiding. Tell Emily I'm safe. Tell her all the lies you can think of to make her listen. Take her back to New Orleans. Sincerely, Jeremy.
Did he write that? I don't know. I don't believe he did. Then makes me think, hmm. What's that right there? Brother, trust I me. need you to trust me. This is the most important moment in our family's history. I know you have doubts and that the terrible Mama Loa told you lies. I would never betray you. I promise. Lottie. What's the scary part of this game? It's not really that scary. A lot of people's complaints about the game was that this game is it's not that frightening. It's okay, it's just not like has a couple jump scares once in a while, but nothing amazing. Hmm. Yeah, it's more of a puzzle game than anything else. Something about maybe the attic. So let's go to the attic. It's something in the attic. Or not. There's nothing in there. Can't open either. Uh, this one is like okay. It's, just, it's not bad. It's just it's not great. It's just sort of it's all right. It's entertaining enough to maybe finish the story, but not much more than that. don't know the code of that safe. It's one puzzle I'm kind of like confused about. Hmm. I need the code. Hmm. We're doing everyone's favorite part of a horror game where you're just running around trying to figure out what you didn't click on. It's always fun. It's like, what did I not click on? Oh, cussing. There we go. Detective Conby. Good to see you again. Solved your case yet? I'm trying. Hey, Grace, you okay? Oh, she is just peachy, Detective. Are you looking forward to the Feast of St. John, Grace? I can't wait. Kids, ain't they great? What exactly are you planning for tonight? Oh, not much. We eat, we drink, we pay tribute to the wishing tree in the conservatory. The usual. Then why all the excitement? There is just something about tonight. Something that's different. I think we all feel it. Besides, we got ourselves some new words for the prayer thanks to your buddy Jeremy. She'll come and turn the world inside out. And things will begin again. What the that hell? That sounds strangely threatening. You should come. <laughs> God damn it, Grace. Stay put for once. <laughs> uh, 
I don't trust that guy. Again, you may be tuning in and you may not realize that we've actually been playing this on GeForce Now and not on my computer. It's been amazing just how well that I can str this runs in the cloud. I can play it in 4K at 120 FPS on my computer uh, without using my computer by streaming through the internet. <laughs> GeForce Now is amazing. And because it connects to Steam, you import your saves directly into GeForce Now and you can continue your save that you were playing on like your computer earlier in the cloud. This work on your phone, on your TV, wherever you want. It's kind of amazing how well this technology works. Yeah, our stream is sponsored by GeForce Now. If you want to check it out, go in the exclamation point GeForce Now. Exclamation point GFN command or click the panel below the video if you want to check it out. And also check out the new day passes, which lets you try out the, the uh, service for just one day if you don't want to do the monthly fee. Got the key. First hall floor key. hold on to these. Wouldn't want them to get lost. There's something missing. Uh, this is a reboot of the series again. I say again because they've done it before. Wait, was she? That ain't normal. Ooh, Jack in the box. Is so dry. Ooh, a letter. Slaughter Gulch. Forbidden knowledge. What did you expect from them? You created too much. There wasn't any room to breathe. Your reification rendered all possible worlds void. You took everything they could imagine and constrained it into something that you didn't even care about. Or maybe you did. Perhaps you cared the most of all. Maybe you tried to save them from themselves. And that is why you had to die. Wait, who died? Jeremy knew that the only one who could help him now was the guest in room number three. The room seemed to have been empty for so long. But that wasn't allowed to be true. The story needed to be different. To include something from the outside, he would bring the guest back to room three and show them what was in that safe. Nine, one, three. But those were not the right numbers. That was the combination for the safe in the clerk's office. Nine one three. Okay, that's the safe code. Finally, now I got the safe code and a key for the first floor. Uh, this game is—I give it like a solid six, sometimes a seven. Like it's not bad. It's not great. It's just sort of good enough to want to play it through it, but not something I'd ever play again, probably. Maybe just a second, but the story gets good. Like a good six. Nine one three. The code goes in here. Uh, it's kind of like Evil then, but way less combat. Way, way, way less combat, and not as good. Combat. Gray's office. 
Empty room. The last yeah. guest in the empty room suffered from severe maladaption. I must write this down, because if I understand the condition sufficiently, it could make me deny this fact at a later date. And there is reason for me to think I may come to suffer the consequences from this dysfunction, as some who came in contact with the guest seem to adopt a new world view in which everything was predetermined but broken. Upon accepting this world view, some memories became unmanageable and later rejected. I do not know what this means. I cannot even remember the fate of the guest. I think they were simply misplaced one day and forgotten. Uh, just like all documents pertaining to this guest, they have all been destroyed, or they never existed in the first place. Who wrote this? There has never been a guest in the empty room. Wait, what? Some sort of curse that made everyone forget about someone. Peter Parker. Dr. Gray's office, all to myself. Let's see if we can figure this guy out. Sandra I have stays. finished tidying up Miss Beauregard's belongings. I will leave it to you to contact her agent and have them collect her things. I found one of Grace's drawings she might want back, along with this key in her room, which I believe you've been looking for, Mrs. Thompson. France, ooh. Someone stole all of France. This is where McCarthy has hidden my favorite young. It's very important. Stairwell key? We're getting all the keys now. I know someone stole every bit of France there. Dearest Dr. Manzetti, I find myself in a losing battle with my patient. As I've disclosed in my previous letter, his delusions have him completely captured. It's bad enough that he is torturing himself with paranoia, but his madness turns out to be quite persuasive to others, effectively laying the ground for mass delusion. I am writing to you in hope that you can give me some guidance. Beyond my ambition to avoid devastating surgery on my patient, I have grown worried about my own defenses. The words of my patient are deranged, yet they often resonate with something primitive within me. I have tried photographing his brain with x-rays. It was surprisingly difficult to get good results. Dark blotches on the plates kept obscuring all details. My patient looked at the bad plates and cried out in terror, telling me the dark areas was the shadow of the worm eating him from inside. I could not see anything out of the ordinary. I hope this is a sign that my mind is not as receptive to the madness as I had feared. After further inquiry, my patient described the shadows inside his mind as some kind of chthonic monstrosity that wants to undermine his sanctuary. This is clearly a reference to a place he calls Teroea, a sort of library or convent that works as a psychological haven. With this imaginary haven threatened by this Chthonian, he has now constructed another less pleasant hiding spot. Lately, he has been bringing up a metaphor of a steamboat that has run aground, that he feels like he needs to start the engines and reverse, but he is afraid that the hole in the hull would cause the whole ship to sink. I've been watching him turn this metaphor into reality for the last week. He knows it's made up, but he is doubling down, trying to make it a real memory. I feel certain that this is my chance to break through the barriers of his self-deceit. Again, that was really long, and thanks for the developers for voicing the whole thing. The Flying Dutchman. Oh. What a terrible thing to recognize that your betterment was an illusion. That you are so infatuated by the virtue of struggling that despite all your hard work, 
you made no real efforts to ever become well. Or that the treatment becomes such an obsession that instead of letting your wounds heal over time, you tear at the flesh in the hope that it will heal better and faster. If only it would bleed in the way you wanted. Do we ever become well? What do you think, Dr. Gray? Oh, God damn. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Loud as hell out of nowhere. I think we can all type Dan Wilkins for that one, chat. Oh, God. Just boom. You weren't awake, you are now. All right, let's see. <laughs> Woo, okay. We can unlock that stairwell now right here. Well, let's go, let's give uh, France was stolen, so let's give France back. It's my G Force, and I want it now. All right, uh, France. Is that a map? Map of the Caribbean. So I think we're going to put her drawing here. Or not. One eight seven G Force now. One eight seven seven G Force now. How about I don't go in that room first? Maybe I've been selling that old barfly short. If we get some more bullets and ammo and healing items. Looks like McCarthy has something hidden inside. I think I need a screwdriver for that. Moment of clarity. Sometimes I think this place makes me worse. That Dossetto might be my grave. A coffin made of ostentatious architecture. A Taj Mahal for the drunken depressed. There's something about Dossetto. Something about Dr. Gray. Like we all pretend that we're here to get better. When in fact we are here to be forgotten. More healing. So I could find a screwdriver and get in there. It's down there. Nothing. Is that a camera? Someone must be a photographer. Those cameras are loud as hell. The Guardian gave this game a one out of five. Some people just are not, don't enjoy games anymore. And they're the task would be ruining them. Not here. Oh, we don't have the key to that one. This game is like may not be a nine or a ten, but it doesn't deserve a one. This much more. What? This has to end. Bullets. 
Jangling Shaker. Cash register. Take the money, please. What a beautiful little performance hall here. I don't leave series very often. I should probably start doing it. Backside. Now we're back here again. Stairwell key. A big red door. Transition. Ooh, there's the radiograph that they were talking about in that one letter. Saw like a shadowy worm creature eating away at his soul. Okay, what's in here? Radiography, patient Jeremy Hartwood, date June 14, 1930. Plates, Jeremy's skull proved difficult to capture properly. Partial radiographs worked best. A complete picture of the brain can be assembled by piecing three plates together. Observations, even when looking at an assembled version, a shadow covers significant parts of Jeremy's brain possible tumor, but more likely that the equipment is failing. Jeremy reacted strongly to the pictures and claimed to see a giant clay worm eating and displacing his memories. Notes. While this exercise has left me nowhere closer to an answer, I feel confident that a Burkhart lobotomy should sever all necessary parts. Lobotomy. Hypothetical psychosurgery based on the ideas by Burkhart and the St. Petersburg uh. research could end up saving Jeremy's mind. Severing the connections around the frontal lobe would certainly solve most mental afflictions. The procedure would be brutal in performance as well as in efficiency. An ice pick pushed through the edge of the eye and into the skull would untether the nerves like Alexander cutting the Gordian knot. As this would likely leave Jeremy in a very different condition, all other paths should first be explored. The medical instrument I would need for this lobotomy is missing, and I should have Waits order a new one. That is nasty. Just, ugh. Surgery room key. Electrical fuse, perfect. Still need one more fuse somewhere. Radiograph number two. Let's go to the surgery room. Thank you, Raya, for that resub. Yeah, I'm having a great day. Thank you for asking. So he was shouting the god's name. Yeah. 
as they were lobotomizing him. Interesting. That's better. Yeah, I knew what I was doing there for sure. Maybe over... Nope. Okay, put that like that. Right, and then maybe nope not quite No, I don't think that... Hmm. It's definitely a top-down view of the brain. It's too big, though. Definitely Jeremy's photo there. Am I missing? I think I'm missing a piece or something. Yeah, that's like Bigfoot's brain up there. That devil seems like the bottom piece. That definitely seems like a top piece.
too big. I must be missing a, a piece because it, it doesn't make sense. Maybe that the light's open, I can find another one somewhere. Nope. I need the key. Lights on. Did that open anything new? something in here nothing in the freezer Must be there. I just have to figure out what's going on. So I think the bottom piece is just a uh, meant to throw me off, maybe. That seems like a big ass head right there. Rotate. No. Let's see. Yeah, it's just there's I can't figure out the right combo here. I feel like I'm missing a file somewhere. Definitely doesn't match. Uh, how about that last one right there? Like that, like that, that definitely matches those two brain pieces, but not this one.
Yeah, it feels like I'm missing a slide. Cause these don't quite match. I'm missing one little piece, but there's none of those seem to fit there. There's only three positions for each of the slides. Like, see, that's that lines up so perfectly. That definitely does not match. <laughs> okay. Uh. Like that lines up so well. Has to be a missing piece. Like none of those work. There's got to be a, another a piece that I don't have. What? Okay. Okay, I looked at the answer and... This is so stupid. <laughs> Jeremy's darkness burned in the statue. See, that was stupid. I did not like that at all. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, now we got Jeremy's darkness. We could put it into the, I guess, the drawing, maybe. Uh oh. This is different. Uh oh. We're underwater. Why does this keep happening? What am I supposed to do? Oh, it's flooding. Great. Come on. David, you gotta run, buddy. Come on now. Now 
now it's all back to normal. What? And we're back here. Well, perfect time to have a look around this place. I saw a rat. Is that a noose? A little bit of a rat problem, yes. Tessellated shard. So I'm missing a necklace from that. What's in there? Jeremy's darkness. Oh. Six four one. Six four one. It's like a hole in the floor. Come on, Jeremy. I'll figure something out. I'll get the boat running. Okay. We're in the middle of... Middle of a swamp stuck in a giant fog cloud. Is this playing GeForce now? Yeah, we're playing. Well, I'm not actually playing on my PC. I'm playing through the GeForce Now program, which you, I'm playing on my PC, like through the program, but I could play it on my TV, my phone. Uh, I think you play it on Steam Deck. So it's a great way to like stream your games, and what's great is it already uses the games that are in your libraries on Steam, and G4, uh, Steam, and Epic, and Ubisoft. You just connect your accounts, and it pulls the games that you own that are compatible with it on there, and you can just stream them anywhere. And you can also import your saves, so you can play it on one platform and then stream it on another if you want. This is our playthrough that we did the other day. We're now streaming it through GeForce Now. It's kind of really cool tech. And it looks and plays great. I'm I have the 4K and 120 FPS option, and it looks really nice. What the hell? Right. Oh, it's still alive? <laughs> yeah, it does look like a giant flea, doesn't it? Which is gross. Is 
other the mine place was right much... Into the bayou. If I get the motor started, I could try reversing back into the river. David Harbour is the one that voices the main character, and yes, he looks... And also does his character model. So you can imagine he's Hopper if you want, but his name is Edward in this, actually. Molotov right there that can be thrown. Final way below, so right there. Uh, Stranger Things season five is going to be the final season, I believe. And then it's over. Let me look what's down these stairs before I go over there. It's like just swamp area over there. Jeremy, where are you? Pocket watch. There are many ways to cross a threshold. The easiest one is being invited. A door swung open, leading you inside. Another is sleep, hypnosis, or even sudden fright. There are those who fold spaces that challenge Mobius, or jump through angles that defy Euclid. If you learn to properly use your talisman, you could go anywhere. You wouldn't even need to rely on the fluttering wings of the shrieking Biakis. Oh, sorry. Bullets? Bullets? No bullets. Very, very few bullets. Okay, so we know we gotta jump down that one place. Let's get up there and do that. thing is dead. I don't have another uh, melee weapon because they break. So I gotta find another. Ooh, a mask. The artist spent a lot of time boating on the vast Lake Pontratrain. Poetry, painting, photography. Everything seemed to become better by the shimmering water and the opalescent sky. One night, as the sailors returned to Darseto, they found the masquerade ball taking place. It must have been Perosi and Nora who invited their friends from the theater. The sailors quickly fashioned masks out of plaster of Paris and joined the festivities. They enjoyed themselves for hours before realizing time was not passing, nor could they find their friends. As they began to worry, they demanded that the guests unmasked, but they could not because they were not wearing any masks. Oh, that's creepy. Thank you, Sir Helmalot and Marisa for those resubs. Marisa says Dan Cheer. Let's put some Dan Cheer in chat for Marisa. Wait, did I pick up something new? I think it was the the rag. Jeremy was calling out for Nope. Okay, now 
not that way. Um, ammo. Ew. They probably saw I was out of ammo. Like, okay, we'll throw you a couple. What about back this way? Started. Okay, well, nothing's there. Oh. Just gotta figure out how to get. Try running around. Okay, oh well, if that doesn't work, then let's try down here. There's a way to jump down, possibly. Yeah, there might have been a way to jump down that I didn't see in that room. I think of what else we'd have to do. I can't figure out where to go. Find one of this engine room below deck. Where though? Mm, I went in there. That didn't do anything. Um. Something else upstairs that I missed? Why is that Molotov there? Oh god, that creature. go Could save a lot of money if I didn't with the fire I mean a lot of bullets Oh, that was, that wasn't it. That was not it. That was not it at all. Ah, oh, come on! Really? Another one? God damn. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta give them the old liberty. Okay, 
Please give me bullets. Thank you. There's really nothing here. Oh, no. Okay, I can go this way at least. Nothing. I got, no, I got one shell. Devs are cruel. Unlock it. Catch it. Sledgehammer. Okay, at least we got some melee weapons again. And another shotgun shell. Oh, nice to do. Okay, we have quite a few now. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's stream. Uh, thanks to GeForce Now for sponsoring the past couple hours of the stream. Uh, you guys have been great. If you guys haven't checked out GeForce Now, please check out the the program under the exclamation point GFN command in chat. Thanks to them for sponsoring today's stream. And it's really cool that we can play Hello in the Dark streaming through the cloud at 4K 120FPS. Um, anywhere we want. My phone, my, my TV... It's kind of awesome how the service is out there. So be sure to check out um, their day pass as well if you want to get like a day pass for just a single day. Just to check it out, see if you like it. Then we don't have to commit to the whole monthly uh, monthly plan. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And we'll be back on tomorrow with um, a full day of Dragon's Dogma 2. You guys have a good night. Thank you for stopping by and being wonderful people. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Have a lovely evening. Here's a little something you may not Here's know. a little something. All video games take place in a shared multiverse called the Metabit. And it's home to a legendary hero, jumping in and out of worlds to save the day. But just who is this mysterious champion? Yep, you guessed it. Dan. And all of your favorite video game heroes, past and present, they're actually Dan. Remember that retail store clerk who had to fight off a freaky cult of the undead? That was Dan. Or when the retired colonel suited up to save the city from invading snake aliens? Also Dan. The time I died 27 times trying to cross that stupid bridge, and I nearly threw my controller through the wall. Yeah, okay, so no one's perfect. But in the end, Dan always comes out on top. Dan's dedicated his life to defeating the perils of the Metabit. And now he's helping others do the same.